What's up everybody, this is MMA Rant, and I'm coming to y'all today with another video. But before I get started, I want to say thank you to all the subscribers. Thanks to everybody that's been sharing my videos. Thanks to everybody that's been leaving me comments, and also as well as leaving me with thumbs up. I'm greatly appreciative of it, and if you're listening right now, subscribe. Now on with my video. This video I'm posting today is about John Cavanaugh being on the MMA Hour with Ariel Hawani yesterday, which was Monday, and something he brought up, or something he mentioned that he was not satisfied with, was basically Dana White at the UFC 200 International Fight Week press conference tour said that Conor McGregor is not going to be fighting at UFC uh, when they go to New York, uh, main event at New York, and John Kavanaugh did not like that at all, you know, and I, and I definitely got to agree with that. Because I feel like this, okay, I understand that the UFC is punishing Conor McGregor for him not wanting to fulfill his contractual obligations and agreements as far as his PR and um, promotional obligations, okay? So, with him not wanting to do that, they took him off the UFC 200 card. Fine, if you're going to do that, punish the man for not wanting to do anything dealing with that event. But then to turn around and punish the man also by not having him fight at the first main event pay-per-view in New York, I think it's crazy, you know? This country does have something called uh, double jeopardy. It's a double jeopardy law, okay? Basically, you cannot try or penalize or punish the person for the same crime twice, okay? And it seems like Dana White is punishing Conor McGregor for one crime two different times, okay? I feel like this. Dana White's probably trying to make an example and probably trying to be funny at the same time saying, hey, if you can't keep your PR obligations and your um, publicity obligations with us as far as advertising a pay-per-view, imagine how big your responsibilities will be for the pay-per-view at New York. New York is big time, it's mecca. New York, you think you having a problem with doing um, interviews and media obligations for UFC 200, imagine how they're gonna be for New York. I mean, they're gonna triple, quadruple, you know? So, Dana White probably trying to make a point with that, and he probably feels like, hey, Connor's having a problem with keeping up with media obligations for this. I know he'll have a problem with New York, okay? So, he feel like he's doing that as well. But I'm, I'm like this, listen. If the man doesn't want to do his PR and media obligations for UFC 200, do what you got to do for that, and then see what happens when New York comes, okay? But Dana White is probably also thinking this. I don't want to have the same situation happen to me in New York like I'm having right now with UFC 200. Because if this was to happen to him in New York, I think it'll be an even worse situation. And to me, I personally feel like Dana White at this point right now is more focused on UFC pay-per-view event happening in New York than he is on focusing on UFC 200. That's just how I'm looking at this right now. That's, how, that's, that's my perspective on it, okay? I'm gonna give you an example of why Dana White should not be focusing on this this way, okay? It's, it, here's my example. Let's say my son gets in trouble at school. He's talking in class, he's not doing his work. He comes home, he gets punished. I punish him for not paying attention and focusing in school, okay? I punish him for that. I'm not gonna turn around and then say, you know what, since my son can't listen in class, I'm gonna pull him from class completely, or I'm not gonna let him go back to class tomorrow, you know? That's not gonna happen. You're gonna punish your child for not doing what he's doing in school, and then you'll let his butt go back to school the next day. That's how Dana White needs to treat the situation with Conor McGregor. He needs to punish him for UFC 200 and then let him get back on the horse for this UFC 205 that's going to happen in New York. Okay? Now, John Kavanaugh made a point. He said, hey, if Dana White's going to punish the man, punish him for that. If not, you know, not punish him for 205. Now, New York, New York's history. New York has a high Irish population there. I believe 12.9% of New York's population has some type of Irish 
um, descent or heritage with them. Also, Frankie Edgar is from New York. Frankie Edgar believes that he will beat Jose Aldo Jr. at UFC 200 for the interim light heavyweight belt. Well, the featherweight belt, I'm sorry. And that would be a great fight to happen at UFC 205 with Frankie Edgar taking on Conor McGregor. Basically, it'll be the Irish of New York taking on the Americans of New York, you know? And that would be a great fight. To me, that, that should be a headline right there, you know? Even though you got John Jones and a couple, of, and then you also got Chris Weidman, which are New York um, natives that will probably want to fight on that card. Also, Dana White may not even want Conor McGregor on that card because of the amount of money that he has to put out for the fighters in this UFC 205 fight card that's going to be at New York, at Madison Square Garden. So you can't have all your big names on that card because you're going to have to pay everybody, you know? And that's going to be something hard that you're going to have to do. And I don't see him being able to do that. So him pulling Connor from UFC 205, there's a couple of ways to look at it. He's punishing the man for something he's, he's doing at UFC 200. He may not have the money to pay all the top fighters being there at the same time, you know? And also, he don't want this to happen in New York, like what's happening right now with UFC 200. Because they gotta make a great first impression for um, UFC 205 in New York, and he cannot make any room for errors. So, there's a couple reasons why he's maybe doing this, but guess what y'all? I want y'all to leave me a comment down below let me know what y'all think is the reason why Dana White's pulling Conor McGregor from UFC 205 in New York. Let me know if it's because of money situations, if he's trying to punish the man, you know, or if he's, you know, he's a little worried that this may happen again. Also, I didn't throw this out there. With Conor doing this at UFC 200, the UFC is big time and known for the demise of UFC fighters when they cross the UFC. And this might be the demise and end of Conor McGregor in the UFC. They may be shipping his ass out the door, so you never know. But like I said, let me know in the comments what y'all think. Hit me up and let me know. Also, share this video. Hit me with a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you're not a subscriber of my channel, if you like what you've heard here, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, y'all, like always, peace.